Would you like to know how to build your own mountain in your world? I know how. Let me show you guys. If you stick around by the end of this video, you'll know how to have an automatic mountain machine. Hi guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very simple design on how to build an AFK automatic machine that builds mountains. It is pretty cool. As you can see in the background, there is a mountain there. I'm going to make many of them today. And all you need is a block of choice, a lava bucket, water bucket, a dispenser, a lever, redstone dust, two pistons, redstone block, and two hoppers. Then you want to build as high as you want your mountain. Once you do that, put a redstone block down and then build the exact same length up again. Because this is where you want your platform to actually start to build your mountain. So I'm going to start building a platform up here as you can see. Once I make a full circle like this, I'm going to break the middle block out all the way back down to the ground. So I should be left with just a donut in the sky like this. So this is going to be my machine. So let's start building it. So I'm going to put another level here so I can put a dispenser facing in towards that hole there. Then I'm going to build two blocks up and put a dispenser facing down like this. And okay, so the top one's going to be the one for lava and the bottom dispenser will have water in it. And that will alternate, alternate, allowing uh, the flow of both of them to hit the ground creating a mountain. So it's an infinite cobblestone generator and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to build a little bit more back here like this behind this dispenser so I can start to build the redstone necessary to activate. And this is a timer I'm about to build and it's been very useful in my world. I've used it many times and so let's get building it. So I've put redstone dust right behind the dispenser and a redstone block right next to it here. And then behind both I've got sticky pistons facing towards each other like this. So the redstone will go back and forth, lighting up that redstone and then turning off. Behind these pistons we need to put comparators, or by, by the side of the pistons I mean, facing out like this. And two hoppers in between them attached to each other. So break that, crouch place that straight into that hopper. So both of them are attached. And that's nearly there. So now we need a block of choice behind both comparators. So let's do that now. So I have to build out a little bit more. Okay, now we need redstone dust right behind both sticky pistons. And a lever right here. And switch it on. And then put a stack of blocks into one of the hoppers. So that's pretty much it. So you can turn this on and off. And now we just want to put redstone on the top of this dispenser. This dispenser is too low. The, the lava and the water are going to mix. So I need to actually make that one block higher. Now it's one block higher. You've got the redstone going straight into both of them. So all I have to do is wait one more time. Just wait a while. And the second you see the water start to come out, that's your cue to put the lava bucket in. So here we go. Now, so now it's time, let's whack in that lava bucket, and now it's going to be totally alternate. So this will start to build your mountain, very easy, it's very simple. The only thing we need to do now guys is check out how long it takes for this lava flow to actually hit the ground. However long that takes will depend on how much, how many blocks you're going to put in your hoppers for the timer. So at about this height I would say we need probably two and a half stacks. So as you can see, I nowhere near have enough. So I'm going to add some more blocks now. Eventually, when you tailor make it your own way, you'll find how many you will need for how high you want this mountain. So eventually you'll get the timing right and it will be completely AFK. You can go do many things, leave it for many days. And when you come back, you'll start to have a mountain. The mountain will start to look pretty cool. And eventually it will, it will start to go straight up in the air like this. If you don't want that effect and you want it to be more level, like an actual mountain, all you have to do at this point is raise your contraption. See, it's starting to get out of control and it is huge. 
This is a really good build, it's useful for many things. I have many other tutorials by the way guys, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see